Hello to all. Today I am going to unbox a CZ P10F. That is their full size version of their CZ P10. Uh, the P10F, the one I have, is actually made in the USA. Um, so the case is a little bit different. And if you guys have never seen a CZ case, they have a nice little interesting cutout pattern on the top. And then on the bottom, they have these little ridges. So if you have another CZ box, like the P10C box here, the little bottom cutouts actually go into these grooves. And it's a little bit more stable when you're stacking them. They're not gonna slide around or anything like that. So we're gonna take a look at the P10F and then compare some of the differences between that and the P10C. The checkmate version. I know there might be a few little different generations or changes along the way between these. They've been out for a little while. I'm not exactly sure which ones these are, but I will point them out. To open up the case, you have these two flaps, and right here you have something you push if that is locked. Mine right now is not engaged. You open it up, and you have your handgun. Up here underneath the flap, you have your lock, all the stuff that goes with it, and your paperwork. In here, you have your firearm. It comes with more than one mag. I have other mags sitting up there. This is a optic ready P10, so it is cut out for a optic. Here I have a Trigicon plate to put on if I want an RMR or SRO. And also it comes with different size back straps. You have a little indication what size it is there. That one's large. Here you have small. And then you have medium. It's pretty easy. Well, it's a simple operation. You just switch it out. It's got a pin, slide that down, slide it up, and you're good to go. P10F. So this is CZ's full-size striker-fired handgun. This here has a 4.5 inch barrel length. It's about eight inches overall in length. It does take some little differences, or it does have some differences from the P10C. That was the first one to come out and is made in a different country. Here you don't have any of the import markings or anything like that. You have CZ USA right here. And the slide is blank. And I'll show you how it's different from the P10C. On the magazines, they come with 19 round magazines. There are also options from the factory that have a extended base plate that has a capacity of 21, 21 rounds. And of course they do have 10 round magazines for those in states who cannot have standard capacity. Real quick, I'm gonna open up a P10C. This is the case it comes in. Uh, pretty much similar, except, you know, the other one said CZ USA. This just has CZ and the other logo. Opens in a similar manner. And if you saw on the other one, they had much more soft, non-cutout foam. This is a bit more stiffer foam with a cutout for the handgun. An extra magazine will go to here. You do have your adjustable back straps that you can change out and everything. And, of course, the handgun still. And also on the top. You had a little flap for everything. They have a little cutout pocket for your lock and paperwork. So this is the P10C. This was made in the Czech Republic. Again, the P10F was made in the US. Um, similar guns. This one's obviously FDE frame, uh, but there are little differences here and there. So on the P10C, you can see here, it has made in Czech Republic. And this just says CZ USA, Kansas City, Kansas. Framework is similar, read before use. The magazine releases are different, I'll come back to that. On the other side, you have your serial number again, along with some proof manufacturing marks right here. I assume they are sent into the CZ and at Kansas and then shipped out across the US. And here it's blank, so nothing that needs to be stamped here, engraved here, and blank the rest of the way. One thing I actually do like about the CZ P10C 
is a magazine release. So this is fully ambidextrous, straight from the factory, magazine, slide catch release on both sides. On the P10F, however, you have your slide stop catch, you have your magazine release, but it is not standard from the factory being able to uh, be released from this side. It does have the slide release though. This is still ambidextrous. Uh, you are able to switch this over here quickly, but it is on the right side for me, being uh, right-handed. On CZ's on website, they did this apparently because people said it was a little stiff, but um, I've shot mine quite a bit, so it's not stiff at all. And I know at first, this right side slide release, man, that was stiff. That was really difficult. But now I've worn it in, worn it down some, and I really like it. And the geometry of the magazine releases are a little bit different too. So I'm not really sure how to accurately describe those shapes but I'm sure you guys are able to see clearly that the shapes are different and I do like the shape of the P10C more so than the P10F. And I like it being ambidextrous right out the factory. There are some differences between these two being a optic ready model and not. On the top, obviously the rear iron sight setup is gonna be a little bit different since they have to accommodate a optic cut here and a plate so your sights set up a little bit further up on the slide versus further back but the front sights are similar and in case if you were curious you can swap the slides and swap the frames so this is the full size P10F frame and it has a CZ P10 slide on it. And what I've seen from like Parker Mountain Machine, you guys should put a comp that will fit the rest of the way, uh, fill up this frame right here and you end up having a compensator at the end. And I think that's gonna be a nice look. But here you have a frame that is smaller and a longer slide and just so happens that the end of the slide right here actually fits and looks pretty nice on the end of a shorter frame, like it's made for it. And if you do wanna carry this, a compact firearm is good because this length right here is a little bit more difficult to conceal, but then you have a longer slide. So you have a longer sight radius, but if you have optic, that's really a moot point, but it actually does look good as is from right here. So if you guys did not know, CZ is hands down one of my favorite firearm manufacturers, and this is one of my favorite CZ handguns. This is a P09, and it actually shares something in similar with the P10Cs, and I'm talking about their magazines. So essentially, these are mostly the same magazines here. This is a CZ P09 magazine, the one that came with it or one I bought extra, but is designated for a P09. This is a CZ P10F magazine, 19 rounds. And then the C compact, smaller uh, capacity, this is 15 rounds. So with these magazines, actually, they are all CZ P, uh, P07, P09 mags. So this is pretty much a CZ P09 mag right here, and this is pretty much a CZ P07 mag here. However, they have changed it up, or they've had to change it up for it to work on the striker-fired pistols with an adjustable or ambidextrous magazine release. So here's a 10F P09 magazine right here. So one thing you obviously notice is that the witness holes, you have it on the back of the P10F. And on the P10, excuse me, the P09, you have it on the back. So you just have four round counters here, uh, different levels. And then you pretty much count all the way from 1 to 19 on this one. Where they're going to differ is, is this cut right here. So the P10 magazines, they are cut right here to work with the P09. So these can go in the P09 just fine, but
but the P09 magazines lack the extra cut right there to engage and lock with the P10 magazines. So I'll show you real quick. We have a P09 here, magazine that goes with it. Of course it should work, comes out just fine. This is a P10, 19 rounds, same thing, goes in, locks in, is able to eject just fine. This is the P10 F frame, P10 C slide. This is the P10 magazine, goes in just fine, locks in like it should. However, again, it does not have that cut on the P09 magazine. Goes in, should fit, but it has nothing to lock in and engage with that safety right there. The story would still be the same. I don't have a P09, excuse me, a P07 anymore, but this would work in a P07 as well as the P10C, of course. But um, it won't work the other way around. And of course, the larger magazine will work it will just extend out a little bit more. So if you're looking to get a new handgun, without a doubt, if you go with a CZ P10 F or C, you will not be disappointed. I personally like the P10 more. It's, it's kind of weird, I'm kind of weird. I like the P10 more than the P10F, the full size. I actually might try to start working it like this a lot more. But if it comes something like a Glock, I actually like a full size Glock, the 17 more than 19, but you know, a, the C, the compact versions, they're just the perfect size. They're not too big to carry, not too small for duty, home defense, anything like that. I'd personally say go on and get the C, but of course, if you get a F, the full size frame, you know, you're not gonna regret it. You're not gonna get rid of it. It's a great shooting handgun. Um, I have Palmer striker fired Walther's, HKs, Glocks, FNs, oh, what else, what else, SIGs, I definitely like the P10C, uh, the P10 series, CZ handguns overall really, but these are some terrific shooting firearms. Um, if I had to choose between one of these and like the P09, P07, that's going to be a little bit difficult, but... I might edge it out for the P10, even though this is probably the handgun I've had the longest out of any handgun. There might be two I've had a little bit longer. I've shot the most through this handgun. Um, one of my most reliable handguns, actually. Um, but these have been work, uh, workhorses as well. CZ has a lot of good options. Look at them all. But these here, plus plenty of other ones, I have some you know, 75s too that are great. A lot of good options. These here are good, there's other good ones. Just my take, these are some of the best options, choices you can make as far as handguns. Thanks for watching.